There we go, I think that's all set up in life. Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, so it is currently a couple of minutes past two in the morning. Um, I was tempted to have a nap and then do one at three, um, but it was when I was uh, have a nap for about half an hour, risk waking up even tighter, or just get an investigation over and done with to then go to sleep and and then because I needed to do one within this time frame either at two or three um because I've got quite a busy day tomorrow like with uh well later on with putting up more Halloween decorations and um I need to go shopping and things so no time to like do an investigation like six o'clock like I sometimes do so I'm just going to finish setting up and then we'll uh get investigating um, but yeah, on that point, I will be tired uh, through the investigation. Uh, there is no denying that. Um, I've not had my usual uh, bit of a power nap. I also don't know how long the camcorder is going to last because I've not. Not charged in its usual place, so um, yeah, sorry for the, the silence there, just weird noises from outside. Checking if that is definitely still. All good. Now flip to that. And it's around. Hopefully that's all good and set up and hopefully it doesn't die. Now quickly set that up. Now quickly go inside a sec. Yeah, basically just heard weird noises outside. Um, anyway, yeah, so I'm going to be starting off the investigation. <clears throat> um, yeah, that was a spooky thing. That it happened. Like, it's not often that I, I get properly scared, but whatever those noises were, did the trick, you know? Yeah, like I said, I am tired anyway, so that's going to be doing it. Ugh. Right, let's light these candles. Oh, I should check if that's on full volume. Yeah, it is. That's good. You're upset? Why are you upset, Spirit? Oh, this cat ball's still on. From earlier. Switch that off. One of the candles is gone out. The living. <sighs> I've not uh, switched on the bear yet. But I will do.
I don't know why I'm just like suddenly really anxious just from like various noises from outside. I don't know why. Yeah, big creek for for I think it's just the weather. I think it's weather. Come on. The bears on. Let's move that down a bit. Oops. There you go, so you can properly see the bear. Yeah, you can properly see that. It's dangerous. You've got to move the arms a bit. So you can get a proper sense of uh, what's lighting up when. Right, so there will be a bit of a settling period on that one, doubtingly. Move that to the side. I think everything's on and they can see everything. This is probably a bit out of shot. Back in shot now, maybe. Yeah, I think that's in shot. Cool. Definitely is in shot on me. Facebook Live. Um, okay, I don't know whether or not the pendulum here is in shot, but it is what it is. Hello, Isaac, if you are present. Uh, it's dangerous. Okay, interesting. Uh, was what was that for, Isaac? He just got so they oh, bears it up. Um, again, that might just be settling period. I have to just put it down. <sighs> But yeah, you know, lots of anxiety from whatever noises I was hearing from outside. Um, and obviously the word, the word I said, threat, I'm upset, the living, it's dangerous, and Isaac. Again, that could be settling period, perhaps. Uh, but, you know, the bear has once again lit up one touch. Spirit, if that's you that's lighting up the bear, could you light up the other side of the bear? The other leg? Around this corner, like well, not around this corner, around this side, could you light up that side? If that is you, thank you very much though, if it was you who was lighting up that light. Painting's eyes. Painting's eyes. It's weird and vague. Sounds really itchy as well. Pushing it in the future. Don't push it this session, but I'm so tired. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? Maybe. I was hearing a fair few weird noises while setting up. I can't describe them. It's, it basically just sounded like there was someone outside. And in my head, I just had a really vivid image of... Suffer. Okay, she said suffer. So I had a really vivid image of like someone outside wanting to break in, um, which was why I was like really like frightened about it. I didn't see anything, but yeah, that's just the why I'm not quite as cheery and whatnot. Okay, another candle's just gone out. Yeah, and then combined with it saying threats and it's dangerous, I'm like, hmm. And I said, suffer. You wish me harm, Stuart? Is that the direction we're going today? Right, if the bear lights up, it will be because of. Um, deserve. Deserve. You saying I deserve that spirit? That's not very nice. The 
you gotta remember, I am tired as well, so things are, aren't gonna play in my mind. My name is Edward. Your name's Edward. Hello, Edward. If your name's Edward, then, you know, feel free to join in the conversation and things. Uh, you know, sit down and have a nice chat. Fun times. There we go. We're, now, we're nice and relaxed and all this boat. In Lyle Creek, but like I say, all the creaking will just be because the weather has turned. Because when I first started, I'm pretty sure at the start of October, it was pretty warm weather, like consistently warm. Um, and it's like too warm for October, I'd say. But we can talk. We can talk. Feel free to talk in spirit. Um, and then, yes, yeah, so it was quite warm, and now it's suddenly flipped to be quite cold, quite windy, raining occasionally. So I reckon this is all the creek here. But that was a loud creek. You may have heard that, you may not, because of my talking. Please take care. So you just creaked again. And these creeks may just be natural ones to do with temperature change, etc. But, you know, you, you've been watching the videos that, the, you know, the past however many days, from what, like day 18, day 17, something like that. And the first 10 days, very quiet, very much so me sitting here being like, Nothing's happening, nothing like, and not hearing any noises, like from that one time. Um, and nothing happening with the bear, nothing happening with anything particular, like nothing happening with Spirit Talker. Whereas now, Spirit Talker, the past couple of times, has been kicking out more relevant words. The bear has been lighting up more, whether that be whatever technical issues. It could be... it. It has been lighting up more, that is the fact. And I, I don't believe it would be battery being drained, and I don't really believe the battery being drained would have an effect on it. Because the battery being drained, the effect that have wouldn't be the sensors being faulty. It, and if you... It would have an effect on sensors being faulty. It would be a fact of they won't detect as much, if that makes sense. That's how I'd assume it. Like when your TV remote starts going faulty, you press buttons and the TV doesn't work. It's not, it becomes even more sensitive. Um, because it's not getting as much power. So, you know, she this, shot me. this could be that. She shot you? Who did? Who shot you, spirit? Again, it's a she. It's never, like, he, it's never, he shot me, he's threatening, he's one of, it's a she. Who is this she? What is her name? What's the name of the woman who shot you? Come on, Spirit, what's the name of the woman who shot you? Obviously, it's currently just past quarter past, so we've probably been, been investigating since about ten past ish. So we will um, investigate until about ten past. Maybe a little bit later, but. Because you need to investigate for at least an hour to get a good sample size regarding the word list, otherwise it's just getting out of work. Um, which is why I know that one of the word lists was interrupted by a system update. Um, so that one investigation has two word lists. 
Hold out your okay. hand. All right. Her hand is held out. A lot of creaking. I don't know if you can hear that on the camcorder. You can hear like this metal clang from outside. Which you can hear, I don't know what it is. You can hear occasional loud creaking from in front of me. And something whirring to my left earlier. Question? Get a loud creak. It's loud. As the weather has turned, it's all the creaking could be the weather. But it's hard to tell. Because you know, it's, it's one of those ones. Because of the 28 day cycle, I've been investigating the past few days. You can see it's like ramp up with various things, right? And I always say parallel, perhaps, and coincidence. So if it was just the bear lighting it more frequently, fair enough. If it was just the freaks, fair enough. But all of it happening at once, I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, that's a little left. Is that you, Spirit? That's making these noises, or at least making them happen more frequently. Help. What do you need help with, Spirit? I need to remember to keep my hand on the planchet because obviously the whole point is doing a Ouija board solo, but a lot of the time I just remove my hand from the planchet and I'm just like, no, shouldn't do that. Because then Robin. that time spent not holding it is time, you know, not spent disproving it. Roberts, don't, I haven't said that before, I think you've ever seen it once. Your name Roberts or Robert, perhaps you've missed out. I live on. Yes, you do. I agree. She said I live on. So yeah, I agree with that. Quite full as well, because I've just eaten two pasties. And before that I ate a, a few donuts, so I'm like, I'm full. I'm tired and I'm full. And I got half an hour, well a bit more than half an hour left to in this like 45 minutes. It's a long time when you're tired and full. <laughs> Good banter though. Good banter. Spirit, there is a key dangling here. If you could move that, that would be great. It make its way. And loud creak. Especially if that's you doing those creaks, Spirit. Because, you know, I'm pretty sure it's just the weather and, you know, with the wind and whatnot and it getting colder. So come on, if you can move the key, that would be good. That would be good if you could do that. Let's give it a push. Doreen. Hello, Doreen, if you're here. If you can move the key. Now push the key, make it swing. That would be really good. Or light up the bear. Move the planchet on the board here to deliver a direct message.
graveyard. What about the graveyard, Spirit? Can you tell me more about the graveyard? Where is it? A D A. Ada? I don't know why it's spelt it out as A D A, but no, it's Ada. Is your name Ada? Really loud creaks. I bet you can probably hear those on the camcorder. You know, what I think the creaks are is just cold weather. Or just the wind. Changes in air pressure, you know, things like that. Benedict. Benedict? Hello, Benedict. Can you tell me more about yourself? Can you light up the bear? Can you touch the bear? I'm afraid it's just touching the bear, shouldn't I? Can you touch the arms or legs of the bear? Can you touch the key? That I've got in front of me. Forward, yeah, you can push the key forward if you want it. Now the key's interesting, so I don't know what the key's made of. Because you've got a bit of folklore with ghosts that says about iron, and that they can't interact with iron. I can't remember the exact reason why, but I remember my English teacher telling me um, that um, graveyards had iron fences surrounding them to keep spirits A -D -A. trapped within the graveyard. Okay, it's just an Ada again. Um, yes, yeah, so it was to stop spirits from leaving the graveyard, which is why they're made specifically out of iron. Uh, for the uh, fences and gates and things, because um, then they couldn't leave. So it'd be interesting if this key was made of iron, because that would potentially tamper the results, right? If that had truth to it, because then a spirit wouldn't be able to interact with it. I think it was uh, to do like molecular stuff, just general thought of what they, they were made up of. But they just couldn't interact with it. Possibly like ionization or something. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm just throwing out words at this point. But yeah. Another candle's going out. <coughs> We said Ada again. I don't know when that candle went out. I'm not doing a good job of noticing these candles. 
You know, one of these days, I will end up setting my hair on fire. See that dangling pretty close to the flames. Shush. Shush? I'm not making any noise, Spirit. I'm talking here and there occasionally, but it's not much. And lots of creaking. Lots and lots of creaking. It does sound like it's really windy outside and that that's causing the whole house to shift and creak and things. I don't know if you can see any any power under the sea. But yeah. Because. Because? Okay. Shush because are you gonna tell me why I should be quiet, Spirit? Oh why should I be quiet? You said shush, you said because. I should be quiet. Notice as well for the Facebook Live in particular, when I was swapping out all those candles, that bed is not light up. So it's not me setting off the bed if it goes off. Holly. Holly? Shush because Holly? Okay, that makes no sense. Because there's this dog at my dad's house called Holly. But I don't think that relates to that. It'd be weird if it did. Because it, it has no contact. <sighs> if she was here, then yeah, but she's not. I am so tired. Incident. Incident. That'd be weird if something's happened to, to that dog. Just because Holly incident. What incident, Spirit? Can you tell me what the incident is? Jasper? I don't know Jasper. Loads of noises. Deride. Deride? That's weird. It's a strange word for you to say, Spirit. Deride? I don't even know what that means. Tired. You only feel like really tired, but like your eyes don't feel a bad spirit. Tired, but a bad spirit, okay. Your eyes don't feel particularly tired, but your actual yourself feels really drained and just like, oh, I'm gonna sleep. Even though your eyes are like, no, I'm gonna stay up. And you're like, no, I need to sleep. I'm knackered. And those creaks are loud. Loud creaks.
looked here. You're upstairs. Just sort of an interesting point. You know, speaking back ages ago, when it said she shot me. On the previous session, I'd said on the stream, I could guarantee it will say something negative about a woman here, right? You know, and that'd be like, she killed me, she shot me, she um, is threatening, I don't know, but I can guarantee that here. Now, I'd like to think I could guarantee it'll say something about children as well, right? But it does that very often. I don't think it says it every session, but I think it says it more often than not, right? There are certain themes, like with the war stuff, but it doesn't always say that. Um, but kids of a threatening woman, they are definitely two narrative threads that this place likes talking about. I'm by your side. You're by my side? That's something it says often as well. Okay, which side? Left or right? Are you to my left or are you to my right, spirit? I like to prepare. On which side? My name is Rose. Your name is Rose. Hello, Rose. Nice of you to be here. If you could light up the bear, that would be fantastic. Now, if your name really is Rose, you can light up the bear. Or you can move the key that I've got set up. Uh, on a, on my pendulum in front of me, or you can move the plancher on the Ouija board. That would be great if you could do that, Rose. Or you could tell me more about yourself through this app. It's up to you. You're really good to could light up the bear. That's the that's the one thing where I'm like that's very good. Interference. Interference. What interference is the? What interference is the Rose? If it is Rose who's said about interference. Could be a number of spirits. Rose could just be one of them. Although that's the first time it said Rose. So I don't quite know if I believe that your name is Rose. If it is, then you, know, you can always prove it by lighting up the bear. That would confirm it for me. With me, you said Ada twice. Neat. Neat, as in M W E T. Um, neat. Yeah, I'm not too sure. That's what interference was when it said meat. So there's no no way that they relate that I can think of. They are, in all essence, random words. Can you light up the bear? We'll move the pendulum. Okay, I'm just going to fight Itchy. Christine. Christine. Okay, so it's a meet and then Christine. Do you want to meet Christine? Who is Christine, Spirit? Unless they're introducing me to Christine. Being like, hello, here, meet Christine. I don't know. And who's Christine? It does say a lot of female names here in particular, you know? It's not very really consistent with the names it's given out, as far as I'm aware from not having analysed yet, but reminds me, I need to stick to the first 10 word lists on Facebook. 
Und hier ist Christine. Pretty, but very quiet all of a sudden. Are you trying to save up energy to do something? You can hear more creaks and things, I should point out. I do think that the creaks are from Help me. the weather. Help me? What would you like help with? It's really, really itchy. What would you like help with? That was a loud creep. Oh, the night vision footage, you're going to hear all sorts of noises on this Ritual. one. Ritual? That's an interesting one to say, because it does kind of look like I'm doing a bit of a ritual, doesn't it? With the, the circle of candles, and the mirror in the middle, and everything else that I've got out. I don't know what that noise was. Loud creak type sound to my left. Various noises from outside. Various rustles and clatters and whatnot. What's that? I'm just feeling very, very kind of itchy and tired. Great. You've gone quite quiet again. Very loud picture in front of me. I don't know whether or not there's stormy weather outside, but they're not hearing rain. It just seems Memories like it's here. really windy. Memories here. What memories here, spirit? What memories do you have here? Yeah, the weather's definitely putting me on edge. That's great. What memories do you have here? No, I can't. No, you can't? What can't you do? What can't you do, Spirit? Well, Spirit, what can't you do? More candles there now. Honestly, these candles are supposed to last three and a half hours. They last one hour, if that. And then swap out this candle. I'm so tired. Others. Others? What others, Spirit? Oh, 
What are those other? It's definitely one of the hardest investigations that I've done. Just because I'm just, like I said, my eyes aren't tired. I just feel really restless, but really drained at the same time. Or I just like keep on looking up at the clock, being like, oh my god, what time is it? I need I need this to end kind of thing, you know? That's the mentality. I mean, plus just being a bit anxious anyway, which is weird. And then like I said, from the start of the session, from like hearing noises outside, which just really put me on edge. And little creaks and things. Just getting to me this investigation. Which is weird. Because when you're seeing previous videos, previous investigations I've done, I, I'm very kind of quite calm with, with investigations, whereas this one, I'm like, nope. This first one where, like, in the fact, it always says something about a threatening spirit, particularly a threatening female spirit, and I'm just like, no, I don't feel that. Anniversary. Anniversary? Okay. Whereas with this session, I'm like, Okay, maybe there is something threatening here. That's the only time. But, yeah, like I said, it's probably just external factors, you know, tiredness, weather, just general creaking of the house. What anniversary is it, Spirit? What's it an anniversary of? What's it an anniversary of spirit? I'm just so restless and just. No, I don't know if it's because I'm really full because of pasties as well, but. I'm just feeling really off. Gladys. Okay, Gladys is here. Please move the key, which I've got set up as a pendulum. Please light up the bear. Okay, I'm going to end the session a little bit earlier. I think. So what I'm going to do is so I'm going to do my usual couple of things for it. Because I'm feeling really, you know, to quote Scream, I'm feeling kind of woozy, man. Um, because, yeah, it's... Don't know if it's the pasties that I'd eaten probably about an hour ago. Probably more than an hour ago. I don't know if it's... Upset me. Upset me. Yeah, I've not tried to upset you, Spirit. Yeah, I don't know if it's... Just in general, like I say, weather and whatnot, I don't have a clue, but I feel unusually anxious. Had done since the start of this investigation, and just a bit queasy, really drained. Like I say, it's not like my eyes are feeling tired, it's not like I'm struggling to keep my eyes out, it's just a case of. You know, my body just feeling like it has no energy to move and things. So you can see I'm just like sat here and my like, arms crossed and things. Usually I'd have my hand on the planchet now and I'd be super relaxed. Uh, super re relaxed, but no. Carl is, has just been said with a C. Um, 
in one hour of cruising in front of me, so I'm like, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's at the point where like maybe I think it is happening and it's exactly. I don't think it is. It does have explanations like regarding weather and just things cooling down, and that's what's causing the creaking. But I don't know. I just feel anxious for some reason. I don't know why. Um. Yeah, and I just as I said, just generally just woozy. Probably a combination because of pasties and tiredness, but and again like itchy. And like I said, you, you can probably hear not so much probably on the Facebook live stream, but you'll be able to hear it on the camcorder when you upload that footage. No get out. No get out. <laughs> Um, but you, you'll be able to hear all the creaking, I'm sure of it. That's loud creaking. You might not hear it when I'm talking, but the times where it's creaked, I'm like you just did it then, so you might not have heard it. But when it's creaked and I've been quiet, I reckon you can hear it. And obviously, it's important I point it out each time. It's like, look, there's a creak, there's a creak, there's a creak. Just so then you know. It's something that I've heard in the moment, and I've been like, it's a creep, don't know what's caused it. No get out. But even then, like, no get out, that is potentially threatening, right? It started off with a bunch of threatening words, it's still being threatened. So, you know, it's one of those ones, like, it's weird. There's things like no get out, as in don't get out, or something like that, I don't know, but... Oh, I'm tired. Right, so I'm going to do the usual thing I do, Spirit. Because, uh, I mean, it probably has gone on for, by the time I do all this, about the same time I'd usually do an investigation, but... I'm going to be, once you said the next word, I'll be quiet for the space of three words with my eyes closed. And I'll let you say three words, and then, um, you enjoy that time, light up the bell, light up the bulb and things, okay? So that'll start from when you say the next word, I'll then be quiet for the space of three words. That you say, okay? But again, it's supposed to be quite quiet. I just feel really restless and just. I don't know. It's just weird. What happened to me? Andrea.
the chair of torture. The room is the full. There we go. So, the, the first word just like which caused it to be quiet. And um, what happens? But then it said Andrea, the chair of torture, and the rumors are false. Interesting. It said the chair of torture. It said that the last investigation. It, I don't think it said it. Previous investigations. That's interesting. That one's come back again. Um. But yeah. So those are those words. Uh. We get another female name. And the rumors are false, which is interesting. Um, also, I don't know if anything happened. It felt like it took ages for those words to be said. Um, but I don't know. Won't know until I analyze the list. Spirit, the next two words, if one of those could be goodbye, that would be fantastic. So let's end the session on a goodbye or evening or anything like that, you know? Because I know you can say those kinds of words. I'm going to be going to bed now because I am knackered. And not feeling the best. Like I said, I'm feeling kind of woozy, man, so, yeah. I'm very friendly. You're very friendly. Okay. Can you say goodbye? For the next word, can you say goodbye? Shadow. Shadow. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Spirit, for talking. I'm going to keep the punch on the board here. I'm not going to say goodbye on that. Um, a loud creak. Uh, there were some really loud creaks, by the way, when I was quiet. Um, so thank you very much, Spirit, and goodbye. There we go. And I'm going to switch on the light. But yeah, the mood starts to pick up a little bit, but... Just hit something, but I just don't know. Falls outside. Anyway, like I said, I'm feeling like quite anxious and not overly great. Um, so, yeah, so sorry it's been a bit of a short one. Um, like I said, I was just feeling but oddly anxious and tired and just not great throughout that investigation. Um, I don't know if it's paranormal, it probably isn't, but. Um, yeah, I'm going to go get a good sleep, um, and I'm quite busy here tomorrow. Just need to make sure I did do an investigation either now or three. The, the, usually I have a nap before an early morning investigation, didn't have a chance to do that. Um, I'd be like half an hour at like 10 or whatever, maybe earlier, but um, 
it's one of those where I'm just like, yeah, I think it was much earlier that I had a half hour and it was like seven to what. But yeah, it was one of those where I needed to do one either two or three. I didn't want to risk having a nap at two to then wake up at half two or quarter to three and be like, no, I'm even tired. So, so I didn't risk it. Um, and as a result, I'm just going to switch off the bear a sec, so that then Facebook isn't like, oh my god. Um, so yeah, so as a result, I'm going to see it now. I've done an investigation, that's the main thing, but wasn't feeling great throughout that, uh, for one reason or another. So thank you very much everyone for, for watching on uh, YouTube, and I'll uh, see you in the next video. Goodbye. And yeah, and uh, turn on who's watching on Facebook. Thank you very much for watching. Um, as you'd have just heard, them um, was not feeling great to his investigation. I am very tired. Usually I have a nap, so I was very tired. Didn't have that nap. Um, and I'd eaten a couple of pasties a bit ago. That isn't sitting right. So they've combined together probably to just make the overall woozy feeling and I just had no energy and it wasn't good um, but like I said I needed to investigate either at two or three I didn't want to risk going to sleep at two to then wake up at quarter to three and be like I'm too tired so um took the took the hit now at least it's it's done so I've kept up with my days and things so I wouldn't be able to investigate later on um I don't think I'd have time um I need to put up decorations and get stuff sorted for the weekend. So thank you very much everyone for watching and I'll see you um, kind of tomorrow morning because obviously I'm saying tomorrow but really it's later today. So, yeah, um, on whatever is the next day from now but early morning. So yeah, so goodbye.